Winter 2024 is a terrible anime season. I just can't find enough animes to recommend. I found four. I found four. And, that, and even then, I divide them into two, where you gotta give it three episodes and see if you like it or not, and animes that you must watch. Let's start off this video with Soul Leveling. Now, Soul Leveling is an anime about this guy who can level up in a world where dungeon crawling is industrialized. Now, he's the only person who can level up. That's why it's called Solo Leveling. Realistically speaking, the premise is not that bad. It's actually very interesting where a world industrializes dungeon crawling this much. It's, it's a mixture of like idolizing it. It's also a mixture of like it's all energy industry to get money. But it sort of falls flat. The main character is, is a bit of a nothing burger. Um, the only reason why I think you should watch Solo Leveling is because of how great it looks, it's A1 Pictures adapting it, and A1 Pictures bought their A game, man. See amazing fights, you can see amazing screaming if you're into that type of stuff. And I think if you're a shonen head, solo leveling is just around your corner. Now, if you're not a shoujo head and you're just a pervert, I guess, gushing over magical girls is in your alley. It follows Utena, who is a girl who slowly but surely figures out that she really likes BDSM and decides to do BDSM with magical girls. Gushing over magical girls is the best ecchi ever since Ishizoku's reviews came out. The reason why is because the ecchi scenes are amazing. They just find a way to make pervert things amazing. And they're well animated and they follow really cute anime characters that you love to just get BDSM and get tortured and it's just really, really fun stuff. But it's not for everyone, right? If you're a sane human being, you know, you have a nine to five job, you get have kids in your home, you probably don't want to watch Gushing Over Magical Girls. But if you're the type of person like I am, who has like a fucking whole drawer full of hentai, Gushing Over Magical Girls is the perfect anime to watch. Himesama Gomono Jikan Des is a Pine Jam anime. And if you follow my anime channel for a while, and you, you know, watch it very closely for some reason. I really like the studio. I really like Pine Jam. Komo no Jikan Des is a very simple anime, right? It follows this princess who gets captured and she gets through a lot of torture, but it's not torture. They basically like feed her food, and, you know, show her a really good time because she was having so much fun. She confesses all of the weaknesses that the kingdom has. It follows this interesting theory with torture. Back in World War II or something, there's this most successful interrogator. And instead of like, you know, torturing them and, you know, beating them up or whatever, they show them a good time. You know, they, they treat them nice, they treat them well. It's how it works. It's a very interesting moral to take about torture. Obviously, this anime isn't that deep. It's just more of like cute girl doing cute things and just hanging out. But Pie Jam, good animation, interesting moral story to tell. It's a good show. Dungeon Meshi. Dungeon Meshi is for the few foodies out there who looks at slime, who looks at armor, who looks at the gold coins and see if like, hey, what if I like slow cook that and eat it? Would that taste good? Would it kill me? It's a good show. It's Studio Trigger. It's well animated. What else do you want me to say? 